Hello, my fellow individuals. I am Mr. Mini Mask Man here, and today we're going to react to the second official trailer of Alien Covenant. Now, obviously, if you have not seen the trailer, then please watch it on the original link down below in the description box. Man, so Alien Covenant, man. Ooh, <laughs> I actually did see the clip. I think it was, um, what was it? A, it was a couple minutes where it was the, the crew. Um, having a, what they call the Last Supper or something, where they're just celebrating having to, eating and all that. And it was an inter it was an interesting introduction, at least they kind of see what these all these different characters are involving in. And it looks like an, a really good and interesting setup from that uh, video clip that, uh, that I've seen, or that all of us have seen. So it caught my interest, you know? So I'm like, okay, okay, we're getting a little bit to know each of them. I did not expect freaking, um... James Franco to be in that movie. I'm pretty sure it's, he's going to be like a very tiny role. I think it's been one of the first people to die, to be honest with you. Just because, you know, he's already feeling sick and all that. And obviously, something will happen. The Xenomorph will... I... Crap, what's the proper names? I know there's the proper names with these, but there's, you know, the Xenomorph stages until they become a full-on Xenomorph. But So for apologize if I don't get the correct names of each of the stages for the alien. Um, but you know, the one that pops out, so it'll probably pop out of him, maybe like in the first teaser on the back. Maybe that's him, is the one that pop- or, actually I need to- I need to watch that one, I don't- it doesn't look like him, but I don't know, for example, something will happen. At least what I'm speculating, he's gonna- the captain's gonna die, and they're in trouble. And boom, we got aliens. <laughs> so, and yeah, so I didn't expect him and, uh, oh, what's his name? Mm, what's his name, what's his name? Uh, Danny McBride to be in that movie as well, both of them. Usually, obviously, at the, I don't know why, but like the first 20, 30 seconds, I ex when I saw both of them, I'm like, is this a legit one? But then I kind of stopped. Like, I thought it was going to be like a spoof or something. It's like, both of them are involved. So I was like, is this the real thing or is this a spoof? But, you know, after a couple seconds as it's passing, I was thinking, I was like, well, James Franco has done, he has done serious roles, dramatic roles, before he moved in with the whole comedy films and all that he actually has done serious roles and he does it well so i'm like i almost forgot that he's done serious roles like 127 hours and all that you know definitely check out that one um so i completely forgot i was like, I was like oh no that's he's he is he is a versatile actor it's just it's, for me it's been a while since i've seen him do that he's probably has done a movie or two like that i just haven't caught my attention recently for what he's done there and I think I heard Danny McBride as well has actually done some serious roles too. So I guess it'll be interesting to see them and and hear. It'll I have to change my mindset a little bit to get used to it. like oh yeah yeah these guys are versatile actors they're not just com comedic actors. So it's just something I'll have to get used to in there. So yeah, but it'll be interesting. But overall yeah I did like that clip and all that um, with a Michael Fassbender you know reprising i think it's the same role he's just what is it another, another robot or android of that same one from prometheus i think i don't know yet but yeah so it caught my attention so now let's see how much more they're going to cover in this in this uh trailer so without further ado let's go watch it right now you've all sacrificed so much to be here yeah see so it was from that be a part of this thing we're doing this crew is made up of couples. It's the first ever large-scale colonization mission. Hmm. And everyone back on Earth is... Oh, yeah, I have noticed. It was a lot of couples in the group. your hard work. And your courage. We're making history here. Hey, Wally. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. What are the odds of finding human vegetation this far from Earth? Who planted it? Hmm. Ah, crap. Here we go. Yeah, from the that? first teaser. What? Nothing. No birds. No animals. Nothing. Man. Ridley Scott. What happened here? Hmm. A lot of people before them here. Oh boy. Stay the hell away from those. And when you see it open, get the hell out. They never learn. They 
freaking never learn, man. <laughs> Also a name. Okay. Oh damn, the freaking back. Oh. Yeah, see, these are the pre-evolutions. Right? Not the full-on xenomorph. Oh, this is not a new life. Be an interesting scene. <laughs> Freaking xenomorph. Oh man. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> that was that was got that was intense for me. That was actually pretty intense, but I like it. I freaking like it. Okay. I'm sold. I'm saying it. I don't care. I'm saying it in theaters. <laughs> Usually I'm not I'll just be straightforward. I'm not really a huge sci-fi guy, believe it or not. I mean, I like a few, like, for example, Star Wars. I like Star Wars, but I'm not a fanatic, you know, where it's like, I freaking know every little thing in the, in, the, in the lore of Star Wars, you know? I just know the basics and all that, but I just don't know why I can't get much into sci-fi. I'm more into the whole fantasy realm, like Lord of the Rings and Game of Thrones and all, and that's more of where I fall in than more of the sci-fi thing. Although with Aliens, it's, it's more different. It's sci-fi thriller, sci-fi horror. So that's why I'm I'm actually drawn with the Alien films originally. Specifically the first two. It's the first two that I love the most. Third one... Uh, eh, third one was meh. And the fourth one, I don't know what they were doing there. So, um, And then, of course, then there was the Alien vs. Predator films. Predator, I didn't feel more that horrorness, that it's not even a word that horror like an alien predator was more of like suspense it's like holy crap the predator is after you they gotta get the hell out of there or how they're gonna fight back with the first two predator films with Arnold Schwarzenegger and Danny Glover um and the second one and I actually like both it was different the second one was different but I don't know I, I still enjoyed the second one it was until the alien versus predator movies is when they kind of overdid it with stuff I mean I get it they've the whole, I think it was during the time you know when Freddy vs. Jason came out, came out, and the whole um, what's the what's the word? Uh, um, why did I forget the word? Crossover, I think so. I th is that what I call a cross a crossover? That that I think it was during the time period where people wanted to see crossovers, and they did well, you know Freddy vs. Jason, and then I think a couple years later, Alien vs. Predator, and then like. Freaking God Awful Alien vs. Predator Requiem. I know. I don't think they're even going to continue that. It, it's, it kind of ended in this cliffhanger on on Requiem, and I was just. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I did not like Requiem that much. Alien vs. Predator was. It was alright. It was alright for a first watch, but that was about it, you know? But, anyways, babe, this is Alien we're talking about. Like, no more AVP. This is Alien, so. <laughs> Uh, I love they're bring. I'm. Br I love the tone that they're bringing it back again. It look. It does look like the majority is almost that same tone from Alien. That mystery, dark, mysterious horror that lies in the ship that none of the crew members know. They don't know what they're dealing with. They don't know what it is. But at the same time, it has that some tone of Prometheus because it focuses more on colonization and planet exploration. So it, it has the Prometheus feel, feel, I'm sorry, not feel, feel, but once they get back in that ship, it's like all of a sudden now it feels like a real alien movie. So it's almost like introduction is like a Prometheus movie, and then the whole thing in the inside is an alien movie. So it's almost like in the ship it's an alien movie, outside the ship it feels like Prometheus. And probably, especially with the action around the end, those, that one's more, that's definitely more intense and all that, with the freaking xenomorph outside outside the ship trying to freaking get in and all that while the protagonist trying to hang on <laughs> so that'll that'll be a pretty cool scene i think it'll be inter interesting so i think that's where more of the action involves hopefully that didn't spoil now that i think about it, it didn't really spoil it where it's just her and danny mcbride 
as the last two survivors, and this is the time where they're trying to escape, and then that scene happens. I'm really hoping that's not it, because then it's, it pretty much just spoils it, where who's going to survive in the end? Well, at least who lasts the longest around the end of the film? So meaning everybody else, I mean, I know the majority of the characters, if not almost all of them, are going to die. I kind of have the feeling anyways, that's just how most horror flicks works, when there's a big group. And you kind of already jot it down, like who's out. And you kind of leave with the, with the protagonist character or this other character, one or two that you can kind of think will last longest or live. Or in the or recently they've been doing in these movies, every, everybody dies. Just everybody, no survivors. So I don't know what they'll do in this one. They'll go with the no survivor routine or probably have one or two survivors. Don't know. So it honestly could go to, can go either way. So, But I, either way, I'm st I am actually really interested in seeing this one. For sure. Usually, like I said, I'm not a big sci-fi guy, so no matter how good the film original sci-fi flicks look, I always wait until, you know, it comes out in Blu-ray or DVD or Redbox, you know. I always wait, and then I watch it at home. But this is my, this is actually convincing me to go up, pay my movie ticket, and watch it in theaters. It's really, this one has really caught my attention. I love the feeling and the intensity in this trailer. I don't know why. It really did better than the other ones, so it's it caught my attention. <laughs> so I actually cannot wait to see this one. And it's also coming out at May, which is the same time as Guardians of the Galaxy two. So it'll probably be Guard I'll probably see Guardians and and this one in Alien Covenant on on May. So there we go. <laughs> there we go. Now the old, oh yeah, I forgot the final thing. I guess what I liked is they show a little bit of snippets of the evolution before full-on xenomorph like the alien like like i said i apologize if i don't know the name you know it's the larva state then it opens up the face hugger and then the one that pops out of the alien i forgot the name now i think of all the alien movies if i recall the ones that pops out it almost looks like a mini undeveloped worm-like little tiny worm-like pale color xenomorph but from that point to the full-on xenomorph I don't think we've never seen the in-between, like the evolution of how it grows out to the xenomorph. I don't think they never show that now that I think about it. They never show that stage, the in-between stage here. You know, then we got the xenomorph and then the xenomorph queen. But I think and this trailer is actually going to show us the in-between. So this is actually, the f at least for me or I think for anyone else, it's the first time we're going to see the in-between stage between, you know, the tiny... The pop out, what I call the pop out little alien, all the way until I guess to the xenomorph, full on xenomorph um, evolution. So it's just that middle section. I never, I was always kind of curious, like how did it become from this to this? Did it just eventually grow into like that and change its color, or you know, I don't know. So I we're finally gonna see it. So I can actually can't wait to see that now. What they actually look like from this whole middle section from here to here now. So that's another good thing to look forward to. In this so not bad not bad at all so like i said this is a high chance i'll definitely see this one in theaters so there we go <laughs> and i think that's all i gotta say i don't know if there's anything else that i'm missing out um and all that so i heard there's gonna be i think instead of popping out of the classic like popping out of the stomach like in the classic film be one in the back i heard there's a painful one it's like one in the freaking oh one in the freaking throat could you imagine that it's just oh right man it's gonna get intense <laughs> man I, I, I can't wait I'm already blabbering on too much so yeah I think that's pretty much all I gotta say for this one um, but yeah I can't wait to see it so thank you guys uh, for watching this video and if you like the video you know what to do and as I always say here I hope you guys have a nice day